Dudes to Dads is a podcast to help men understand and navigate the transition of being a single dude into a family man. How do we make sense of it all? Well, we probably won't be able to, but let's go ahead and have some fun trying. And we are back. We are back. I'm Jason Kreidman. I'm Alan Bush. And this is Dudes to Dads, episode one. One eight, yeah, hundred and eighteen episodes. We're Alan, up there, man, we are up there. Yeah. We're getting old. Getting old. This is the most episodes you've ever done. Uh, consecutively, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I've done well, a me lot for of sure. Episodes. But you did a lot of episodes <laughs> yeah. with others in other shows. Yeah, so. that's right. You, you were on. We uh, we have uh, surpassed the uh, the quota. Or whatever it is. My personal quota. Yes, your personal yeah. quota, yeah. which I'm very happy to be a part of that. Yeah. And uh, a public thank you for all the work that you've been Absolutely. doing on the show. It. Yeah. Um, it's been it has good. been fun. It has been exciting. The feedback's been awesome. Uh, it's really cool to see people be affected by stuff that we sure. do. Um, Got a just, lot of great guests to come on the show. Yeah. Yeah. I know. I mean, recently too. I mean, just some great feedback on these guests. So it's it's been good. So. Another awesome week, um, episode 118. We haven't done um, something specifically targeting new dads in a while, like yes. brand new dads. It, yeah, it was a while. Which first, is a lot of what this was started with. No, that's how it started. Um, this one is how dads can bond with their baby. Okay. Yeah, so brand new dads. You know, it's, it's this is for the brand new. They're in such an exciting time. Um, you get to hold your baby for the first time. There's nothing like that when you just first get to hold your baby. The you just you can't really believe that you love something that much. I think that's the best way to explain it. You know, when you're holding this baby that you and your significant other produced. Sure. Um, but then, like a few days go by, and then a few weeks go by, and. Unless you are spending a tremendous amount of time with the baby, it sometimes can be difficult as the dad to feel immediately close and to feel a bond with the baby. Right. And I, I'm personally speaking from my own experience, um, and I know other dads have experienced this as well. Um, I'm sure some guys are like, no, I'm everything's fine, you know, but I, I know this does happen where, right. uh, you know, the first few months, there's just, you know, my wife, as an example, my wife spent a lot more time. Well, first of all, she was nine months ahead. <laughs> you know, <laughs> yeah, the baby was growing in her right. for nine and months. And then once, you know, because I was working full time, she took off some time and then went back to work part time. But she was able to spend more time with the child than I was. Sure. And so just by that virtue was able to bond quicker than I was. And it's like this thing that you feel like you want to bond with the baby. Like you have this baby, you want to feel like, I, what, what can I do? And you know, how can I be close to it? And, yeah. you know, um, and then when it cries and goes to the bathroom, you're like, okay, maybe I don't need to be so close to it. <laughs> I don't need you know? to bond that much. Yeah. Um, so whether it was my doing or not, like I said, I worked and she was the one she was breastfeeding or she would fall asleep with the baby. Um, or she just carried the baby everywhere she went, mm -hmm. you know, it was kind of like attached to her. Mm -hmm. And so I think men have a little bit more difficult time having that immediate bond. And so as a result, I've put together some tips to bond with the baby cool. and what they can do. Yeah. So you might even, and guys might be doing some of these things, but some guys might not. And so, um, and some of them are common sense and they're things that you just can do as the dad. Um, so the first one is talking to your baby. Mm -hmm. Now, my wife talked to the babies, both of them before they were born. Okay. Which was introduced to me and I was like, that's a little weird. I that just, my <laughs> initial, my initial thought was that's a little strange. Mm -hmm. I don't know why. I just thought it was, especially the first kid, second kid, it wasn't, but <laughs> first kid, it's like, what do you mean? Talk to the baby. Like it's in your stomach. Like I don't understand. Well, you, you know? heard the thing about even talking to plants. Totally. You no, know? I, it, it just didn't resonate with me that's right away. Funny. I, 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 that's one of those things I would almost automatically assume would be a, like kind of a natural thing to do. Be like, Hey, it was, it was not in there. I'll be honest. It was not natural for me no? to know my wife's belly would be sitting there. And for me to like talk to the baby, yeah. it just, it was awkward. I talked to my cat. 
Well, not in a weird way. I'd be like, hey, what's going on? And he well, goes, yeah. I go, so, oh, really? We need to talk, Alan. <laughs> <laughs> but it's just like a conversation that you, you're you not really having one. You just, it just responds. I know. So that's, Same thing here's, but here's what I said. So some people, it's like no big deal. <laughs> okay. Other people are going to be like, what are you talking about? Yeah, I'm not right. going to talk to this dark baby. So, but I did it because sure. I, Figured like, oh, that makes sense. Was it awkward? Ever? So you were like, hey, it was totally how, awkward. How's like, it going in there? Yeah. So I just gave him a high five. <laughs> like, <laughs> hey, what's up, what's baby? Up, baby, <laughs> yeah. Go on, um, baby. No, it just took practice, and like, eventually, I was like, you know, that was fine. Yeah. You know, but at first, what I'm saying, it was just awkward, sure. <laughs> like talking to a bald head. You know, <laughs> you're just sitting there. Um, so number two, carry your baby. Sure. So this might be in your arms. Um, or a sling, like yeah. you have a little baby That's sling. I was thinking sling. Yeah, yeah, people have the little carriage. I, you know, some people are fans of like carrying them on the front, whatever. I just didn't. That was awkward for me. But I would definitely carry them in my arms, mm-hmm. or or there was like you can get a backpack if you're hiking when they get a little bit older. Yeah, yeah. Um, when they're brand new. It's they're like they're, yeah, they're up inside you. Um, so that was something. And so you can you know carry your baby is just feeling close and feeling that. So that's something that you know. I, I will say it's funny. I think men now, younger men, are more inclined, at least what I've seen. I, I've, I know what you're saying because I've yeah. seen a lot more of that. What I don't – and this is maybe you can elaborate on this. I saw the people that they wear the strap front baby and the baby's facing – Outward, like not right, facing so they can the, see everything. But that's like, but they're kind of just dangling there, like totally. a doll, and they're seeing everything. Now you know they're seeing everything, but they're not bonding with the dad. They're just no, but it's a, still they're strapped to like, they're, like it's the baby's back is against the dad's front, right? right. And then the baby's just kind of like this steering thing, and I, it, it looked weird to me. It does, but it's funny because it's. I think the idea is the baby gets to see the world, like stimuli. Yeah, just. You know, hey, what's going I like on? the the backpack idea because versus, really, I mean, imagine if you're sitting there and like, and you can see, and you're just all you see is boom, like right into somebody's. No, stomach. I get that, you know? and you're like, and this the world's going by you, but like, like if you have the baby on your back with the head over your shoulder, then it's like get the best of both worlds. It gets to hang on. But then on you don't to get you. to see it. No, but so yeah. what? You can't see it in front of you anyway. Well, yeah, but you can. It's a little bit easier. Like when you keep an eye on them. I yeah, guess. that's what I mean. Like when and they're behind oh, you, you them. can't. Keep, it just uh, looks so robotic to me. Well, here's know. the thing: you can each do whatever you want to do. Right, that's exactly. the beauty yeah. of it, right? Yeah, <laughs> you know. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that's you know. Either way, carry them in front, back, side. You know, yeah, yeah. Football the strap. Yeah. No, football. The football. There's Heisman a, style. There's a guy. Uh, <laughs> he's really funny. He's a YouTube guy um, that has like the different ways of carrying your baby, mm-hmm. and he does like football, reverse football. Like <laughs> it's all kinds of stuff. It's, it's really funny. That's funny. Uh, number three: skin to skin contact. So mm-hmm. that was something uh, that my wife had introduced. That's like, yeah, I mean, whether you have your shirt off or mm-hmm. whatever, but like baby's skin is so amazing. Mm-hmm. It's just so soft and like yeah. and, and nice, uh, which I don't know that our skin is that nice to them. Like, You're abrasive. Dude. Yeah. Like, well, it's like my kids when they touch my beard or something, yeah. you know, it's like, oh, you know, uh, <laughs> But you can just simply play, you know, place them on your chest while you're reclining or laying down and just or even give the baby a massage. Mm. You know, that touch is very stimulating to the baby. Um, so you can do that. Uh, number four, give the baby a bath. Mm. Um, don't let your wife have all the fun sure. by being able to give the baby a bath. Bath time, I'll tell you, was some of the best time when they were babies. babies. Like infants. Yeah. When, when a child likes it. I'll tell you what, like it might seem trivial, but when a baby splashes for the first time or like splashes water, you think it's like the most amazing thing in the world. You are so entertained by it. You're like, splash. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. I mean, it's just like everything's wonderful when you see it for the first time. Sure. And then 500 days later, (laughs) you know, I can't get my kids out of the shower or whatever. You know, it's a little different. All wrinkly. Yeah. So that giving them a bath is, is, is a great time. Uh, Number five, feed them. So that's important. Yeah. Well, babies like to eat. Well, so here's what happens is if, if your wife breastfeeds, then oftentimes you don't have that opportunity. That's right. So what will happen if she's inclined is she can pump because they get engorged her and she has to let release the milk. Sure. Um, so you can bottle it and then feed the breast milk yeah. from, from, a bottle. Yeah, for sure. So, or if you're feeding, fa- you know, formula, you take some of the feedings and, and such. So it, it is something, you know, and, and like I said, 
whether it's the assumption of like, hey, every dad does this, but I don't think that every dad does all of these things. No, I agree. Because I can tell you, I think it was, and I mentioned this on the show before, that was a, I, this isn't one of the options, but uh, of changing your, the baby's diaper. But oh, the yeah. dad that came up to me in the right. gym and says, oh, you just had a baby. Congratulations. You know, I've had four kids and I've never changed a diaper. And yeah. he was proud of that. Right, yeah, yeah. So, you know, I don't know if he never fed his baby or never <laughs> bathed his baby, but I'm guessing maybe is not as often as he probably could have. Right, yeah. So feeding the baby can be something where you can bond with him as well. Uh, number six, play with the baby. Mm-hmm. So that's, I think, probably something that most dads do. Sure. Um, just because... You know, the dads like to play. But if you see a, a pattern forming here, that's because it is. And that basically it's just spending time mm. with the child in different ways. Um, I, I I think a lot of men, though, during the baby stage, let's call it, you know, that that infant stage, um, get excited more about the future than the present. In other words, like. Oh, I can't wait. And, and the reason I'm saying is because I did this. Sure. You know, so not that other people may or may not, but I think this is common where. Speaking from experience. I, I, oh, I can't wait till he, he can walk. Yeah. And we can go blah, blah, blah. Or, or I can't wait until she's going to be old enough to throw the ball or you know, whatever. Yeah. Instead of like enjoying the present moment. Yeah. You know, and, and what the stage that they're at. Or at like totally remember this one. Oh, I can't wait till they can talk. Mm -hmm. Right. You know, well, they can't yet. Yeah. And guess what? When they talk, you're going to say like, oh, I wish can't wait until they can do this. Like, yeah, there's always something else. Yeah. You know, can't wait till they graduate grad school. (laughs) Right. Can't Can't wait till they leave the house. Yeah. Can't wait till they get old enough to take care of me. (laughs) Right. (laughs) Um, No, there's just those things where, yeah, you just, you don't want to wait to enjoy the time, you know, enjoy the, the, the present moment. Yeah. Uh, number seven, read to your baby. So this is something, even if he or she can't understand what you're saying, because like, you know, they're too small. Reading helps the child's brain grow. Um, and, and if you don't want to read a baby book, that's totally fine, too. Like, you don't have to read a baby book. Like, read something you're interested in. You could read, you know. <laughs> newspaper. Yeah, newspaper, sports, War whatever. Um, whatever it is you want to read, it's just the words and the sounds and your voice and, and the, the different, like, uh, ups and downs of your tones of your yeah, voice and everything. And yeah, it, it, it just, it's all good input for their brain. I mm-hmm. mean, they've proven that, that, it, you know, the the stimuli, if you will, of, of your brain, of all these things are good for the child, sure. you know, and they learn language that way. Yeah, I mean, they learn sure. language by listening. So it's pretty cool to, I mean, I enjoy reading, you know, to them actually now they read to me you know, <laughs> right? Uh, in Spanish. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> um, but yeah, do they, uh, it, it's kind of cool to be able to do that. And especially when they're young and, and then they start like really getting interested in the stories. It's mm-hmm. just, it's awesome. Um, so yeah, so there, those are kind of quick tips. I, I, I think the, in general, like the newborn phase is really magical, but it is difficult or I found it difficult as the dad to bond because of that. I didn't spend as much time. Um, I don't know that I consciously as much as like I looking back where I said, Oh, I want to feed him or, yeah, right. you know, like, or I want to do like, I, I think it was more, do you need me? Do you need my help? Right, like yeah. that, you know, and you Hey, I'm, yeah, I'm here. Like you're like spotter. <laughs> <laughs> totally. I mean, there were certainly times when we switched off like, OK, you know, I'm going to do the bath, or whatever. But I, I don't know. It was as conscious of like, oh, this is a moment where I can bond with that baby. I mean, there was right. some of that, I think, as they got a little bit more yeah, sure. older. But initially it's more just like, oh, this is cool. Like it's my child and I'll feed it. Right. Like you're not thinking about what that means, right, you know, right. and the fact that I, oh, yeah, I am bonding with the child. It was just, you know, a couple, like a month or two into it. I'm like, I remember talking to my wife and saying like, I just don't feel that close with the baby. Like mm-hmm. I love it. Yeah. It's awesome. But like, I'm not getting much feedback. Like, <laughs> you know, they're not, 
Yeah. No, it's funny. Uh, yeah, I listened to the Bill Burr podcast, yeah. and he's a new dad, and he recently had that thing. Well, he's he's older than both of us, right? And uh, but he said uh, he goes, yeah, my wife. You know, when the baby comes in the room, it's like light, the baby lights up. Yeah. The wife's there. He goes, well, he looks at me like, hey, who's this guy? <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's like, so I understand. It's like, you know, I know women have it hard, but the guy's trying to figure out what's going on totally. with the baby. You know? Yeah. And that may be the more traditional roles. You yeah. know, if there's a stay at home dad or whatever, you know, it's, yeah. still, it's he's totally kind different. of stay at home. But yeah, but yes, yeah, it's, it's yeah. the same type of thing. Yeah. No, absolutely. <laughs> so, you know, just love them, spend the time with them. Be sure you're taking advantage of those types of little moments and, and they might seem trivial. You know, like as you're doing it. Um, but I think you'll look back with some pretty fond memories and, um, you know, even taking some video. Like I've, there's some video of like us feeding our, you know, our baby or whatever. It's pretty cool to watch now. Yeah, you know? right. I mean, it's time we're not even that far out. I mean, it's a couple of years. Sure. Um, but it's just, it's pretty incredible to look back. And, you know, I said, everybody says it. It'll go by so fast. Yeah, right? yeah. And the truth is, it is. I mean, my kids are now seven and, or my daughter just turned seven and then at eight. My son, it's just, I just can't believe it. Yeah. You know, I cannot believe that it's, yeah. it's gone that fast. So you're going to want to savor those moments, um, making sure that you can, you can bond with the baby. So if anybody has any tips on bonding with the baby or questions about it, Alan, what shall they do? They shall email us at podcast at deuce the com. That's a good way. Or you can join us in social media chat with uh, Facebook, deuce the com. Twitter at Deuce the Dads. And then please go to iTunes and Stitcher and leave some reviews there. Subscribe to our channels, Deuce the Dads. You can find us there. Uh, YouTube is We Dad University. Um, and make sure that you go there, subscribe there as well if you want to see the video versions Hence of us. The and some of the shirt stuff. Yeah, you got the, the logo. Keen logo on there. Coming uh, soon. Coming soon. You're going to hear some <laughs> more about that on, in future episodes. But uh, please, among those all, uh, just leave some feedback. Uh, send us questions if you want. Maybe something you want to add to the show, or if you have something really cool to say, perhaps you can even be a guest. Awesome. Yeah. Anything else? Everything that was pretty great. thorough. That's pretty <laughs> thorough. Yeah. Uh, okay. So with that, Alan, thank you. Thank you. And uh, we will see you next time. See you next time. <laughs>